Hello. Hi there, is that Mike? Yeah, is that Jason? It is indeed. How are you, sir? Hello. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Good. How's, how's Ireland treating you today? Oh, it's all right. It's fine. Good. <laughs> um, thanks for taking the time. Very excited to uh, be welcoming you to South Africa very soon. Um, the most obvious yeah. question is, you know, what took you so long? <laughs> something that we've always wondered about. Uh, hmm. we, almost, we almost came a number of years ago and for some reason it didn't happen. I think it's probably down to money most likely. Hmm. Always, yeah. It's always been exp- it's expensive for the water boys to travel. You know, musicians get paid well. We do things properly. We, we take a good crew. Hmm. And uh, sometimes it's tough. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. And uh, I, I'm not sure if you're aware of... Uh, your history, I'm sure you've been appraised of uh, just how long uh, you've been championed as a band. There was a gentleman by the name of Chris Pryor um, on a national radio station here, right back at the very beginning of your career, who uh, mm. probably single handedly, um, you know, celebrated you and, uh, and I think established you certainly within a South African reality. Uh, were you ever okay. aware of that? Mr. Chris Pryor, the name does ring a bell. So mm. I think I've either spoken to him in an interview or someone has told me before, yes. Yeah, he is guilty of that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, <laughs> for, for the better good of everyone. But, um, what, yeah. what, I mean, it's, you know, it's coming up for 40 years. Um, you're the one constant in the band uh, throughout that time. Yeah. Uh, and But in, in, in your mind, what do you think it is that's carried these songs uh, you know, for as as long as they have. Uh, you mean the old songs? Yeah, yeah, not the new. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Well, I, do, I don't sense? carry them all. I only carry I only carry the ones that I want to sing and play. Yeah. I don't carry the rest of them. Okay. Uh, and I think, uh, uh, to me, I don't look at it like that. I'm a working musician, working songwriter. What What really interests me is what I'm working on right now, and. When I go out on tour, mm. I want to play what turns me on. And, of mm. course, that includes some of the old songs, too. I, I still play the ones that I dig. Mm. But I want to go out and get my own looks off, man. Yeah. And have a good time. And uh, yeah. so, for me, the key to the Water Boys longevity, if you like it, is that I've always just stuck with what the music's telling me to do, regardless of what box anyone tries to put me in or anyone tries to tell me to do. do. I just keep keep going my own strange golden trail. Mm. And that keeps the music alive, keeps the music fresh, and keeps me interested. And that's why the Water Boys are still here. Mm -hmm. Because I think performing a, a song that is pretty much part of your DNA, to perform that with passion and gusto, you know, um, if if you're not feeling it, like you say, then uh, it um, yeah yeah it, it it comes across as contrived and and just doesn't work. Yeah, I think so. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And 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 the fact that the Water Boys have been going for as long as they have, the fact that you're still passionate and interested in it, to what, if anything, or anyone, do you kind of owe that longevity? An important thing for me has been that the band has kept changing. The the lineup of players kept changing. Mm. And there are people that I had a long relationship with, like Anthony Thistlethwaite, who was a sax and mandolin player from right at the beginning for a long time. But then we got to a point where I felt we'd done everything. We'd, every permutation, mm. every combination that he and I added up to had been tried, uh, had been... Uh, uh, fulfilled and there wasn't anywhere else to go so I split with Anthony and on the other hand there's Steve Wickham who's been working with me on and off since 1985 Mm. and yet we haven't explored all the possible avenues there are still surprises Mm. and that's why I'm still working with him Mm. and for me that that ability to change players to keep it fresh has been very important Mm, mm, mm. because I think yeah you obviously when those players come and you feed off of them, they feed off of you. I mean, the chemistry must be must yeah. be quite electric. Yeah, well, I like to improvise as well. I like to improvise on stage. 
And when, when we come to South Africa, people will see a, a, a funky rock and roll band mm. that can improvise. Mm. And I like to take the songs in different directions. I don't always play them the same every night. Yeah. I like to have a good. I like to have a good time. You know, when I get the guitar mm. on, mm. I, I want to be creative. I don't just want to be repeating myself. Yeah, yeah. Which it's, you know, in some cases you you'll have fans that 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 want that. So they 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 want to hear what they heard on the record. But I think the true magic yeah. of a live performance um, and I think that's probably even more so now the case than, than ever before is to get an experience that mm-hmm. arguably um, you know you will never be able to repeat in quite the same way again or to, you know more, yeah. you know what I mean and uh, I think that yeah. that to me is uh, the magic for you because as you say you could take it wherever you want so um, yeah. I think you, you you can meddle with your audience and have some fun too yeah, mm, mm, mm. that's definitely what I want to see when I when I go and see one of my favorite bands. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when when you do look back at at the vast catalog and the the songs that do sort of jump out and the ones that you do want to perform, have you ever thought about what it is about those songs that kind of have transcended generations? <clears throat> because you can perform those songs today. And they have as much relevance, and they they resonate with audiences that were, you know, not even a twinkle in their parents' eye. Never mind their children. Yeah, yeah. Well, there are different ways. There are different ways for me to look at them. There, there are, there's a song like something like the Whole of the Moon that people people still love very much, and, and new generations keep finding that song. I don't know if you know, but it was in a couple of big American movies and, and mm. TV shows last year. Mm. It, it kind of had a resurgence. And people keep covering it. Prince Prince played it live a, a couple, few years ago before he died. Mm. People keep keep making records of it. I think Fiona Apple was the last one. Mm. And so that song has a life of its own mm. that is almost separate from the band. Mm. And there's something in that song. I don't know whether it's the lyrical message or or something in the music or probably a combination of both, mm. some chemistry that, that keeps that song alive. Mm. However, it also is its other life as a a part of Waterboy's performance. And fortunately for me and, and for people who love that song, it's very, very good fun to play live. Mm. So it, it never really falls out of the repertoire. I always dig playing it. It always always feels great but then there are other songs from the same period that are much much more difficult for me to play live and it's usually because they're musically um, I find some some of the very early songs musically two dimensional mm-hmm. I hadn't developed melodic skills chordal skills uh, arrangement skills that, that I, I grew into later and sometimes I find the, the very early songs frustrating because of that mm-hmm. And um, we've we've spoken about what fans can expect. They can expect whatever whatever is um, your mood on the day, um, or, or are you? Ah, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm completely flat. No, I'm a professional, and my band <laughs> is one of the tightest, most professional bands that work in the world today. Yes, we are always put on a show. No, I'm sure. No, no, I'm joking. But um, what what are you most looking forward to? Just getting back on stage, man, and and playing for an audience that we've never met before. Now, mm. that's exciting. Mm. And the South African audience, I know there's going to be a lot of people there who, who've loved a lot of voice music for a long time. Yes. So we, we'll, we'll be putting some songs in that we haven't played so much recently, mm. but because this audience has never got a chance to hear them before, we're mm. going to put them in the set. That's very gracious. That's very gracious. But... Um, that could be good fun as well. Well, I, as you say, that's the point. Otherwise, you know, why do it? So um, yeah. I, I look forward to hearing new songs. I look forward to um, finally getting to, to to see a show that I think South Africa is really, really look, looking forward to. So safe travels, and uh, we look Thank forward to seeing much. you in April. I thought to bump into you somewhere. I will, I will seek you out if I get the chance. Thank you for your okay, time. Great, great. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.